family. Welcome back to Professor Epps. Today I have a product review for you. And that product review is each and every deodorant. I was out of town for New Year's and it came in the mail. So this is it. I'm gonna open it up and um, show it to you. So I found out about this all natural deodorant from um, Tabitha Brown. I think you guys know her, she's like a vegan foodie and um, chef, America's mom, I think is what the world has like given her the name. Super awesome person. Um, but I want to try the deodorant out because I've tried several all natural deodorants and they leave a residue. I've had some that like break down my underarms, which is super uncomfortable. So I said, well, let me try this deodorant and see what happens. I'm trying to open it. Um, here we go, I'm getting into the box. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> okay, all right, here we go. A lot of work. All right, so this is just the uh, receipt here. And, okay, what did I order? I ordered the lavender and lemon scented deodorant, so receipt. And now, let's get the actual deodorant out. They really package it tight. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Lavender and lemon. Okay, aluminum free deodorant. It says no aluminum, no parabens, no synthetic fragrance, no baking soda, no gluten, cru cruelty free and vegan. So, okay. Essential oils contain natural compounds. Um, directions apply to underarms. Caution, do not apply to broken skin. If irritation occurs, discontinue. So ingredients, um, I'll tell you all. Um, the simple name. Oil made from coconuts, tapioca starch, earth wax, dead sea salt, lavender essential oil, dead sea salt, which is another um, magnesium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. Those are both dead um, sea salts. Um, additional lavender essential oil, antioxidant soap, and lemon essential oil. So each and every, this is the brand, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna use it today. I just got off my spin bike and um, I remembered I had this deodorant and I said, you know, let's try it out. I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. I work out a lot, I sweat a lot, and I need a deodorant that's gonna hold me without breaking down my underarms. Um, it's not gonna feel like wet while I'm walking around. It's not gonna have a heavy scent. So um, I'm gonna try it out. Let's see, it's about, I guess, 10 in the morning. So I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna put this deodorant on and we're gonna see if it lasts all day. I will come back tonight after my yoga class. I teach a yin yoga class at 7.30. So um, after that class, I'm gonna let you guys know if I had to reapply, you know, how did it feel to my arms? Did it leave any residue on my clothes? And that kind of thing. So here we go, shower, and then each and every lavender and lemon. So I just applied the each and every lavender and lemon deodorant. It smelled like lavender oil, um, a little bit of lemon. So we'll see if it holds all day and um, I'll let you guys know tonight. Um, it did go on with a little bit of a white color. I think that is the, um, the coconut that's in it. I'll let y'all know if it stains my tank top or the pullover that I put on. All right, we'll see what happens. So it's about 11 o'clock at night and I'm just going to give you guys an update on day one of wearing the each and every lavender and lemon deodorant vegan or two free. Um, so it's been good. Um, I have not been super active today so I haven't sweat a whole lot but it has held me throughout the day. Um, I do not have um, any discomfort in my underarms, um, no burning, no like pain. I think I told you guys before I've used a, um, another um, aluminum free vegan 
uh, deodorant, cruelty free, that really just left abrasions and broke out my underarms. Haven't had that today. Um, I have not had to reapply. I felt fresh. Um, but then again, like I said, I didn't sweat a whole lot today. And I don't know, it's, it's been okay. I haven't uh, taken like my, my my Sherpa off to really check to see if there's any type of uh, residue or deodorant on my tank top, but I will check that now and let you guys know. So here we go. I'm gonna just go ahead and raise my underarm. All right. So you can see like a little bit of remnant of the deodorant very faintly, but as far as like on my tank top or my sports bra, there's no residue there. See on this side, no residue there either. So. So far, so good on day one. Still felt fresh. I think I, it was around 10 o'clock in the morning that I applied this deodorant. Um, I was only gonna do a one day review, but sometimes one day isn't enough. So I'm going to use this deodorant for another, maybe two days, and I'll give a little snippet each day about how it goes. Um, so far, I give each and every two thumbs up. We'll see what happens on tomorrow. So today is day two of using the each and every lavender and lemon deodorant. It's about, I think, 8.45 in the morning. I just got out of the shower. I'm going to apply it and see what happens. Hopefully it holds up until this evening. I'll come back and give you guys um, some feedback on day two. I am gonna probably do a spin class tonight, so we'll see what happens. So tonight is night two of using the each and every deodorant. I have felt fresh all day. I did not have to reapply. My underarms did not feel uncomfortable. So far, so good. I've enjoyed the product. Hey guys, Stephanie here. So today is day three of using the each and every aluminum free, cruelty free deodorant. I know, um, Day one, my plan was to just do a review from that day. But I said, you know what? Let's give it over a course of three days to see how this deodorant truly holds up. So day one and day two were great. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning on day three. So I just got out of the shower, got dressed, and I'm going to apply the each and every deodorant. Um, I have some meetings today. I'm teaching two yoga, called two yoga classes tonight. And I am hopeful not to have to reapply. Day one and day, day two have gone well. And um, it's been good. So I'm gonna apply, come back tonight, and I'll let you guys know how day three went. Hey fam, so it is about six o'clock on Thursday, day three, of wearing the each and every deodorant. I wanted to give you all an update. So I applied the deodorant this morning around 10. So it's been about eight hours, coming on eight hours since I applied the deodorant. I have felt fresh all day. I haven't been sweating. However, I raised my arm and I saw that I have an oil stain on my t-shirt. I've worn this t-shirt before and I've used the degree, the degree deodorant and I did not have any type of uh, stains on my shirt. I'm gonna hold my arm up and I'm gonna let you guys see it. It's not sweat, it is oil from the each and every deodorant which makes sense because there is lavender, coconut, and lemon. So here we go, I'll show you guys the same. I'll see, yeah. I'll put a picture up probably as well. Like I said, I felt fresh all day. However, um, I am disappointed in that bowl staying in my shirt. It may be the fabric because I have not noticed a stain on any of my other shirts that I've worn on day one or day two, but I have noticed the stain on this shirt. I do want to wash the shirt, which I will do, and I'm hopeful that the stain will come out, and I'll put a picture up, or I'll come back on and let you all know if um, that stain does come out. So, so far, three days of wearing the Each and Every deodorant, I've been really pleased with it. The downside that I've experienced is the oil stain on this shirt. Um, I am gonna get ready to go and teach some yoga classes, and I'll, I think I'll throw this, go ahead and throw this in a wash and I'll let you guys know if the stain comes out and um, how I feel. Alrighty, thanks. So unfortunately, the oil stain did not wash out of the shirt when I placed it in the washer. 
The oil stain is the only con of the each and every cruelty-free deodorant that I have found. Over the last three days, I have felt fresh. I have not had to reapply. So overall, I do recommend using the cruelty-free each and every deodorant.